spin. Daru Jones, live from this modern drum of I, I feel like I need to try to do that, that wild thing. <laughs> Jack White's gig. So everybody, we're here at Frangioni Foundation. You can see this kit and some other amazing kits, frangionifoundation.org slash drum slash collection, dash collection. Just go to frangionifoundation.org, search drum collection, you'll see it. Modern Drummer Hall of Fame. You visited now, you're going to be here for a bit. What do you think of the Hall of Fame? What do you think of the drum Yo, collection? My head is cracked. This is so cool to see this. And like I said earlier, it's very inspiring. Because in my evolution of drum kits, I have a bigger kit for this tour. I kind of want to have everything because you'd have to learn 100 songs. All the catalogs of each particular record, they have different sounds. Wow. The latest record, I think it's the first time that Jack used samples. So now I'm adding a Roland. Oh, nice. Shout out to Roland. Yeah, what, to DW. what are you using? What are you using for Roland? I'm, I got the SPD pad. Oh, it's And I'm using the SP1, the single, oh. single. Oh, I love it. That Roland's great. It's some great, great pads. And, and, and augmenting, so you're firing all your samples from there. Exactly. Then I have the pancake drum that normally people, people use for a gun, but I'm using it for like right in front of me. Amazing. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, I can't wait, man. That's awesome. And you're, you're a DW artist, yes, of course. Yes, and what do you use for symbols? Oh, so here, here you go. Any of these look familiar? 2002? Yes, they look very familiar. So shout out to Kelly Peisty, Eric Peisty, Eric Peisty, the Peisty family. Peisty family. You here. visited the factory, I heard, right? Yes, I visited. Actually, I have on, um, artist inspired symbol to Daru Jones. DJ's 45s, PSEX, the 12, the 12, all 12 inches. Is it out yet? It's out. It's been out for four years. Mine's on the way. <laughs> Got to get Brother David up to speed. Because we, we need to get some of these for the, you know, at some point as as, as my career pro progresses, and hopefully one day I'll be honored to have some things in oh, this more beautiful than museum. Day, man. That day's here. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll send it over. I gotta check out the symbol. Symbols are killer. Yeah, they're portable. All 12 inch. They're supposed to be like vinyl. Of course you have it on your kit tonight, right? No, I'm not using it for mine because it's, it's all big symbols tonight. But I use it for my other, my portable kit with DW. Uh, PDP called oh, Donald Jones New York. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. So awesome. it works well for that, for that, for that. Symbol. Okay, but this gig you needed louder, bigger symbols. Big okay, boys, gotcha. Boys. Okay, so no, not a lot of subtleties other, unless they're symbols. Exactly. It's that kind of Thing. Yeah, but it's, it's it's really cool to just see that this is the family that I'm part of the yeah. big drum oh, kits. Yeah, this is what I grew up seeing when I got introduced to rock and roll. Like 
cats killing, also making records and playing these monstrous hits that nobody, like, whatever that drummer was using, that was his identity. Yeah. So that's what I was yeah. used to seeing. So it's really True. cool to but see. And that's what we captured here. I love how you said that. Mm. That's really what the whole point of this was. You know, each kid, as we went through the years, what kids, you know, drummers see see drums as much as they hear them. Yes, they see guys play as much as they hear the, the drumming itself. Yes, so the kit becomes very much a part of that experience, that yes. memory, as you said perfectly, and I mean right on the money's inspiration. And then that becomes what motivates us and drives us and gives us ideas to put on our kits. So this curation of all these kits was really about that. And now in being able to, through Frangioni Foundation, inspire young people to check out these drums, be inspired. If they're, if they're going through a big challenge and they're part of Make-A-Wish, bring them here. Give them a memory that they will have and their family will have forever. And, uh, and that's, what, that's the power of music. That's the power of drumming, drummers, and drum kits. It's all kind of one thing, right? For most of us, the drum kit is not just drums. It's an extension of who we are and, and what we want people to feel when they see it as much as when they hear it. Would you agree with that? I totally agree, and I, 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 I'm, I'm thankful for you doing this. And I, I, I definitely recommend all drummers, you know, to come to the facilities because you, you're going to just be able to give some things that you may not be used to. I remember when I came up, we were open-minded. You know, we didn't judge people because they didn't have the regular five-piece kit. Yeah. Like, when I came up, all the instructional tapes that were out, I was open to, like, seeing, hey, why does this guy have this, all these, you know, the China, whatever it was, I was right. open to checking it out. Right, right. So I think this is great educational for all yeah. drums just to come, just to see. Yeah. Drums are more than just a five-piece. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Sure. There's a lot of more sounds. And we some... have some five-piece. We got Buddy, we got Charlie, we got Arc Lakey. There's some smaller stuff, but you're right. The vast majority. And I think that's symbolic of what inspired me as a kid. You know, so having a very small kit, but listening to and being inspired by Carl Palmer and Neil Peart mm. um, and, and drummers that had, you know, arsenals for drum kits. That kind of fed what drum kits I wanted to curate and, and keep, you know, as part of legacy, right? Because these kits just disappear. Somebody takes a drum here, somebody takes a drum there. Like, we don't curate them, they're pretty much gone. And, uh, and then we don't have that significance. So besides all the value that goes along with that, even more importantly is the music that we're, you know, keeping forever now and, and creating and capturing that legacy. So yes. we're honored to have you here today, man. Can't wait to see Daru with Jack White. Jack White comes to any of the cities. You've already been to so many, but if you haven't seen him yet, this is an incredible show with an incredible person, incredible drummer. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the live stream. We'll be doing more of these from Frangioni Foundation Modern Drummer Hall of Fame. And uh, be well.